hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video i will be sharing with you guys um, an update of my no spin challenge so we are now in march 1st and i wanted to share with you guys the challenges i faced in february and let you guys know if i did succeed or i went ahead and bought something if you're new to my channel welcome my name is evelyn and i post videos every single day on my channel so please make sure to click on the subscribe button so you can get more videos from me so the month of february was really um hard for me um because i'm not a huge shopper like i don't go out there and buy things every single day but um during the month of february i love to buy things because we're getting to the end of the season and um, things are beginning to go on sale like the winter clothing are beginning to go on sale I'm a huge cashmere and wool um, fan so like this time they are like going on sale on Nordstrom and a um, different website that I shop at especially on Nordstrom at this time they're having like the 40% um, sale I think they did have it last week so um, previous years at this time I'll start buying my cashmere sweaters and my wool sweaters because they'll be on sale like for 40% off sometimes even 50% off so it was really challenging for me not to buy anything I went back and forth to the website I was um, really um, thinking of buying something also I love jewelries and I am a huge fan of buying my jewelries from Nordstrom and then at this time again they have sales and I love I've had my eye on this really gorgeous um, 18 karat gold necklace it has four karat weight of diamonds on it and i've had my eyes on that necklace for years and it went on sale this year on your 40 percent of sale which was last week and i was so excited when i saw that that jewelry went on sale i called my husband because he was not in town then i called him and said oh this jewelry is on sale should i go ahead and buy it? this jewelry probably would not go on sale again the next four years so i think i should just go ahead and splurge and buy it for myself and just not say anything and then he goes your conscience is gonna judge you because there are people who are following you that are looking for updates to see that if you're still doing it or not so that was like my second challenge that I had this month it was really hard for me not to buy that um, necklace and I'm still thinking about it so I'm not gonna just sit here and tell you that oh okay I um, I'm done thinking about it I'm really really thinking about it I'm thinking of just buying it and just forget about this no spain year or maybe buy it and then go ahead and continue after buying it so you guys should leave me a comment down below let me know what you think should I just go ahead and buy it or not so the third challenge I think was also on buying a handbag it was on buying a handbag and it's the Gucci moment bag in the size medium since I started a no spend challenge it's been really hard not to buy things like if I was not on the no spend challenge I might just look at it and say oh, forget it I don't care I don't want it but since I pronounced that I was not gonna buy anything this year it's been really hard and I went back and forth um, um, in Nordstrom because also they had it on sale they had it on sale during the half up 40% off sale and I was really debating it I was debating buying it and so it was really hard and then the last challenge I faced was just um, there's a bag on fashion file it was a Valentino handbag it's really really pretty it's in this gorgeous um, black it has lamb skin it has ostrich it has snake skin it has just different exotic animal that they use to make the bag and the bag is really really beautiful it's really expensive but it's on sale as well so i'm really considering buying that handbag as well so worry because i didn't know i was going to have all of this like awesome things go on sale and I'm gonna be stressing about if I should buy it or not like I'm not a huge shopper but I like to splurge on really nice things that would last me for years and years to come and most likely pass on to my children like the diamond necklace that I was thinking about is a a really expensive piece even on 40 percent i think 20 percent off that's what the necklace is and it was still really expensive but i feel like it's worth the price because i'm not like an everyday shopper i don't go and buy things winning nearly every single day so i feel like it's kind of justified and i could keep it forever but if i'm going through like 
Now I was wanting to buy the Valentino and the Gucci purse. I just reminded myself, I have a Gucci handbag in my collection and I have other luxury handbags that I do absolutely love. So I went and looked at my handbag, my Gucci, um, the nicest bag, how much I love it and I still wear it. And then I looked at my Chanel handbags and my other various handbags that I have. And I kind of uh, appreciated the things that I already own. And also when I was looking through my jewelry wardrobe to see if there is anything that fits into the diamond the circle diamond necklace and I, there, I don't have anything like that in my collection I do have other um, diamond necklaces but I don't have nothing specific like that so that kind of I wanted to justify that by saying oh since I don't have anything like this maybe I should buy it but then I reminded myself I have several other gorgeous 18 karat gold um, necklaces with diamonds so why buy another one but I still could not convince myself. I'm still thinking about it. I still want to buy it. So you guys should please hold me accountable. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I should just buy it and then continue with my no spend year. And in the comments down below if you think I should buy it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.